Lead them straight and true. Give strength to their arms, stoutness to their hearts, steadfastness in their faith. For these men and women are lately drawn from the ways of peace. They fight not for the lust of conquest. They fight to liberate. Well, first of all, the emotions aren't just today. The emotions come long before that, just as soon as you know that your child is leaving to deploy for overseas. As a mother, um, you know, we, we raise our children to protect our children. So it's very tough when we know that our children are going to go and be in harm's way and we don't know exactly where they're at. So um, it's very tough, but it's part of their job. It's what they do. So you just have to pull yourself together just like they do. You have to support them in what they do. They fight to let justice arise in tolerance and goodwill among all thy people. They yearn but for the end of battle and for their return to the haven of their homes. Oh, I was hoping this day wouldn't get here, but I'm proud of him. I know he's doing what God's called him to do, and he's good at what he does. Uh, Christ is my strength, and uh, he's going to see me through this, and I know that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, all of us in attendance today are proud of you. We wish you good fortune in your noble undertaking and your complete safety. We are grateful to each one of you and to your families for your selflessness on behalf of every American. And as President Roosevelt prayed 65 years ago, we all will join in continuous prayer for each of you to return to your families a year from now, safe and unharmed. You have my profound best wishes and gratitude. Thank you very much.